So let's go on a date with Paps. <laughs> you should be in this building. Or maybe outside. <laughs> so you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to tell take you to someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where is it taking me? <laughs> Mouse! <laughs> this is, we were just here. Alright. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. <laughs> Did I just stole that? What's this? It's a dirty sock with a series of no socks. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back into my room? Forget it. What would that room up there with fire and stuff? Like the pirates looking. The door is locked. A classic image. This always reminds me of what's important in life. A bone. That's my room. If you finished looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. You go inside? No, no. Let's keep exploring. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to see me. Come to my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, TV. Oh, where's my favorite game show? It says, stay tuned for our new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. This is my brother's best rock. I always forget to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. Rock is covered in sprinkles. Okay, he's just running here to see what I'm doing. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a, qui a quiche, but filled with a sugary non egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink so I can fit more bones under it. Take a look see. There's a dog. Ah! What? Get that meddling canine! Curses. Oh, Sans! Sans! Stop playing with my life with incidental music. Welcome to scenic my house! Enjoy and take your time. Ah! Interested in my food museum? Please, we'll peruse my culinary art show. Oh. It's a trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. <laughs> Exercise. Come on. Oh, look, dingy. <laughs> Having fun, Papyrus? Running around? <laughs> I can't feel my lens. <laughs> that must be I'm being a great host. <sighs> You really like running around, don't you? Let's do some more exercising. What does that digging mean? Like, just, there was two dings. I can't feel my legs. Uh, same thing. Okay, let's go into your room then. That's my room. If you visit, finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Sure. This is your room. A car bed. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I like to drive down a long highway, find wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. What's these? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. Why do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa. <laughs> Isn't that flag needle? I'm lying, found it at the back. I think it's from the human world. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> well, you know, humans have skeletons inside of them. I'm a skeleton, technically, with a bunch of flesh around me. Books. That books. That books, one of my favorites. That books, one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book. That next books, another one of my. <laughs> that next book is one, another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with fluffy bunny. That end, the ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside of my closet except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Sure. Those are hung up neatly inside. The internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Uh, of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending bad, my, me bad puns in a goofy font. Sans. Peter's internet browser is open to a social media site. Okay, what's these? Hey, those are all the attacks I use on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was, it basically just happened. So, um, if you've seen everything, you want to start the date? <laughs> yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I have actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can s you can't spell prepare without several letters from my name. Snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one: uh, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we are ready for step two. Step two: uh, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human eye, the great papyrus. Will go on a date with you? Sure. Are we really? Wowie! Oh. Uh, He's a cypher far free. Yeah, uh, nice calls to show you here. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana about around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? If you wanted to date me from the very beginning. Sure. <laughs> oh. No! You plan it all. You're all way better at dating than I am. <laughs> no, you're dating power. Oh, I have date power. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you're best at me yet. Tension. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A, gen a genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This day won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart, but who doesn't? <laughs> this shirt didn't originally seem cool, but I improved it. Expert in all clothing articles can be improved this way. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No, I must resist. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Boxers? There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and preservance. Perseverance. Face. Oh. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah. <laughs> well, well then. You found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Okay, sure. Do you know what this is? Uh. What? It looks like spaghetti, but it could be something else. It could be a, a brain. It could be. Uh. Else? It's not colored in, so I guess. 
Oh, I'm just gonna go to the spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? It's right, but also wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. It's an artist's work. Silk and spaghetti. Friendly Asian oak and pants. And cook, I mean, master chef of iron. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it or refuse. When I didn't actually eat the other spaghetti that he made, he was like, oh, you left it for me. Unless I did something incredibly wrong. You're letting me have it instead? Yes. Because you know how much I love pasta. Impossible. Can't get my present and turning it around on me. Ah. Ooh. No. <coughs> Off the charts. German, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. German, I want you. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, oh boy. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on a date, feelings blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me, but alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me, a dark person of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like I'll, this all never happen. Uh, after all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't have... I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. <laughs> oh, wait, why is your hat still floating above your head? You can call me at any time, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> okay, so I can call Papyrus now. I guess that's it. Sans, can I come to your room? No. Okay then, I guess I'm done. I'm gonna call Toriel because I haven't called her in a very long time. Nobody picked up. Oh, Toriel doesn't even want to talk to us. Papyrus. Ring ring. Snowden. Humble Papyrus. That's the slogan, now right? Yeah. So where am I supposed to go now? It's getting really foggy and then it's not foggy anymore. It's like, what's this? Okay. okay. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Who? Oh, awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my friends I'm here. Haha. <laughs> This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? 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 The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Hey, Sans. Wait, haven't you seen a girl with two jobs before? Two jobs? Oh yeah, you sell those fried smell. Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill this. Wanna come? Sure. Well, she insists. I'll call myself away from my work. Uh, over here. I know a shortcut. Okay. What? Best shortcut, huh? 
Sit down. Whoopee cushions? Sometimes we don't put uh, whoopee cushions on the seat. End it with this order. What do you want? Oh, I just ate fries so I'll get a burger. Mm, sounds pretty good. Whoopee. I'm gonna order a burger. Are you combing your skull? So what do you think? Oh, my brother. He's cool. Of course he's cool. It'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Birds. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Um, sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Oops. Uh, forget about it. You, have, you can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. Just scratching your butt. Anyway, come cool on up. You have to take a look at the very for your life. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door and then it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw I'm still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, a uh, it's still a work in progress. Oh yeah, what did you ask you something? What? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Flowey? Yes. To know all about it. The echo flower. Oh yeah, that thing too. <laughs> They're all over the marsh. Did you see something? And they were repeated over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to me. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the necklace flower to play a trick on me. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. How'd you mean flowery? That was a long break. I can't believe all that you pull me away from that for most of that long. Oh, by the way, I'm fat bro. Can you foot the bill? It's just ten thousand dollars. <laughs> sure. I'm just kidding. No, we put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. What about the birds? Okay. I have Brabby. Is Sand home now? And the door's locked. Can I go? I can't. I can't go into Papy. Wait, is Papyrus in here? Is Papyrus in there? <laughs> no. Okay, fine, I guess Papyrus isn't in there. Mm. Let's keep going then. What's with all these waterfalls though? It's like pouring down. Hi, right, back here, I'm just gonna save a bit. Fills me with determination. Just hang out again sometime. Sure. Wait, Sans, what was that behind you? Look, there's a thing behind you. Like a... Rocks? This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you? So, you can't use items when they're in the box since you're really a box hater. Okay. 
Oh, an aquifer. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. So that's what. Something behind the rushing water. But who would have said that and what is behind the rushing water? Ah! Dang it. Let's try this again. Oh. Whoa! There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Sure. You got the old tutu. Armored defense 10. Finally a protected piece of- oh! <laughs> it's better than the bandana. Papyrus! Hi, Undyne! I'm here with my daily report. Is that Undyne? Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier? Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I catch them? Uh, well, well. No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? to destroy them. See? You, you see, uh... Papyrus? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. I caught Undyne's attention. Oh jeez. Spears. Oh, I'm not here. Let's go away. I'm not gonna move. Oh, goodness. La -di da Oh! It's you. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Good job tripping. Dread hangs over, over you, but you stay determined. You just have to keep determined, no matter what. When four bridge sees the line of the water, they will sprout. Oh, so I can just... Okay. So I can pick these up and put these down. And they will sprout. <laughs> oh, what's this little crack? Mm -hmm. What? Everyone flexes in. Uh, flex, flex. Everyone flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flex and contest. Okay, flex more. No, please don't. Yeah. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Oh, you flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you. I'm not gonna attack, so. Nice. I wanna lose the. I just need to dodge like a pro. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex! Rip. Yay! these plants in a way so that it forms a bridge before. But you see they float all the way to the other side. Is it worth it by not doing it in a single row? Like this? Is made the bell blossom. We can call for its effect. Okay. Uh, I'm do like this. Yes, I can. Let's do that thing. 
ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get, how did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Oh yeah, you don't actually know my number. I just know his number. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I am asking for a friend. I thought you saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink wink. Have a nice day. Uh, a long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. With hope with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Wash, wash, wash. Um, green? It hops around excitedly. Green, green means green. I need to catch the green ones. Yeah. Good. So I needed to catch one. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I. We'll see the real star soon. Oh, look. Wait, is there something written on the, on the telescope? Check a wall. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They would take the soul of every, nearly every monster. It's really loud. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist as of the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh. It's flowing across. Doody doo. Do do. Do do. Aw, does this shadow mean there's something bad gonna happen? Yep. That's undying. Oh gosh. one oh, you're walking away <laughs> that monster guy just that little guy just protect me um get the bicycle um I can't move oh, there he is there's that guy. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm, ne I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't want to see her again. This cheese has been here so long. Magical crystal has been... <laughs> it's grown around it. And then... The save point. Squeak. Who's the mouse? Am I the mouse? My one 
they extract the cheese from the magical crystal. It fills you with determination. Oh, hey, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How was about it? Sure. Uh, red. It's absolute redness. Is there nothing here? Like, absolutely nothing? Satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a, a full refund. Use a box? Yes. Put away my bandana. A unicycle. Oh yeah, I had a bicycle. I have a unicycle. Snowman piece and butterscotch pie. Can a bandage heal me? star? No. Yes! I'm a star. There's a duck. Okay. A uh, duck. What's in here? <gasps> it's an ice cream guy. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I have thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. You're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream, it's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25. 25. I'll buy several. Okay, three. And uh, oh, this advantage. Just so I can get, just so I can get all my cards. And a snowman piece. <laughs> this is place even. So if you're a passing conversation. So don't you have any wishes to make? Parabella shoes, will you take it? Oh. Uh, I have to drop something.
45 HP to you. There's no man pieces. Jeez, this is 11. This is 15. Yeah. I can't even see that I'm wearing anything. Or the tutu or the bullet shoes. <laughs> Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. That's you do too, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie, I couldn't betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. I... I didn't actually change... I'm sorry, you can't fire us. Don't smoke. Just spare both of them. <laughs> Passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't. Let it. Oh, this is the power to take your souls. This is the power that you need. Small, small. What the heck? What is that? What is that? It's following me. I'm stuck. I can't move. Um. What? Hey there. Notice you are here. I'm Onion Sand. Onion Sand, you here? Um. You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's great right here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Why? Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But hey, it's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Hey. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. It's okay though. Here, Undyne's gonna fix everything. Here, I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. Here. Hey, in there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Waterfall. Bye, Onion Sand, I guess. Oh, Iron. Siren, uh, a hum? You hum a funky tune. Siren follows your melody. Save me, save me, save me, save me. Sure. Uh, the northern room hides a great, a great treasure. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a human monster soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception: the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster, 
A boss was her soul strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments, a human could absorb the soul. But this has never happened, and now it never will. Because there's no humans here? Um, a haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first theater fine. What? Huh? There's a piano here. Play it? Play even. What? I'm so confused. Oh. That's a weird way to play the piano, I'd say. Oh. It's a statue. The structures at its seem at its the structures at its feet seem dry. 